Stop. Authorized personnel only. Raise your hands above your head for identification. Greetings, Explorer. This message is to remind you that you are the UNPSC field officer aiding our research of the Pechorsk Radiant Anomaly. Congratulations on your contract extension. Your security level has been reset to zero. Attention, this is UNPSC Emergency Guidance Recording L1-61. If you are listening to this, you are most likely suffering from one or more of the following conditions. A sense of displacement, disorientation, memory loss, ataxia, and visual auditory hallucinations. Please remain calm. You are experiencing the adverse effects of prolonged exposure to the Pechorsk radius. This recording was placed here by the UNPSC.
wasn't really me, just an image. I'm trapped somewhere terrible. I don't know where, just that it's dark here and I can't move. I'm, I'm so sick of this place, whatever it is. My name's Katya, by the way. I'm so glad I found you. Finally, I'm not alone. UMPSC Explorer 12, Log 13-2, Night Eyes. Night Eyes are called as such because of their distinct appearance resembling a glass eyeball. Night Eyes give you something similar to night vision. Be careful though, side effects could include sustained retinal damage if you accidentally find yourself under strong lighting while using a night eye. You won't go blind instantly, but an explorer researcher I knew found this out the hard way. He decided to activate the artifact on base under the bright lights of our laboratory. That was the end of his research career, at least in that particular incarnation. We don't exactly have opticians around here, and the damage was so extensive even regens proved useless. This researcher thought that maybe the pain meant he was getting x-ray vision. I don't know what happened to him after he voluntarily left our base, ashamed of his helplessness. I doubt he lasted long.
Where's the... The film was here just now. I need to develop it while the back room is here. Oh, God, you will hate me if I don't bring it back.